when it comes to Janu and all of the different things that he can do, I mean, we see him make contested catches, block, run after the catch. How much flexibility does it give you all on offense to have not just anyone who's versatile, but a tight end who's versatile? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun to go to work with Johnny every day. You know, he's a guy that uh, brings great effort and energy uh, to everything that he does, and he's been working hard at all different aspects of his game. So uh, we're very fortunate to have a number of tight ends here that we can depend on to do different jobs and different roles, and uh, it, it certainly makes things fun to get a little creative. How would you evaluate Johnny as a blocker at this point of his career? Uh, I think John would be the first to tell you that we're always looking for ways to improve. And uh, he certainly wants to try to quarter turn and uh, improve on, you know, a bunch of different aspects of his game. And so uh, I'll call him in process and improving uh, in all areas of his game right now. Uh, Corey? Yeah, Todd, a, a couple of years ago, uh, John was struggling to catch the football. Um, those struggles seem to be behind him. Is that simply repetition, confidence, both? Uh, yeah, I think they go hand in hand. You know, um, obviously I wasn't here a, a couple of years ago, uh, but I, since I've been here, I've seen John who worked very hard uh, at all aspects in the past game, including, uh, you know, catching the ball and, and contested catches and going up and making tough plays uh, with the ball in the air. So, I think he's starting to see the, the fruits of his labor, uh, so to speak. And I wanted to ask you about Michael. Uh, that touchdown pass he caught, um, I think it was week one, he caught the back half of the football. Uh, are his uh, receiving skills underappreciated? Uh, you know, he, he had a lot of production in college. I remember him coming out. He had a lot of catches and, and did a lot of nice things uh, in the passing game collegiately. Uh, you know, I – if, if it's underrated, I think it's by somebody else. You know, we know uh, how talented he is and how skilled he is, and uh, that was a great catch. That ball was coming in hot. Ryan put it exactly where it needed to be, and, and Pooh was able to make a play on it. You know, I know he caught the back half of it, but uh, it was certainly a good, uh, good job clamping his hands down and securing the catch. Jim, I see you in the call. Do you have one? I do, Todd. You need to get that call. No, I I don't think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I want to ask you, I guess, about your uh, your initiative with the hundred, uh, the organization of a hundred black men and the donation that you're making. How, how did that kind of come about? Why that? Why is that important to you? Well, Jim, I appreciate you asking. Uh, that really came out of some of the great conversations uh, that I've I've been fortunate enough to have with my players here in the tight end room. Uh, which have been steered, you know, by Coach Brabel and, and uh, Coach Smith, you know, just creating an environment where we can uh, have an open dialogue and talk with one another. It was important to us uh, to do something together, to show unity, uh, to be able to celebrate our on-the-field performance uh, by uh, I incorporating a cause that we knew uh, would help with some of the issues that our society has going on today. Truth be told, my wife did a, a lot of research and, um, you know, a lot of legwork in, in finding the organization. Um, but there was a, a checklist of things that the guys in the room uh, made clear were very important to them. And uh, we just wanted to kick it off. Our family just wanted to kick it off by saying, hey, we stand with you. We support you. And if those uh, issues are important to you, they're important to us. Uh, and a bunch of people have jumped behind it, and uh, it, it's off and running at a pretty good clip. I think I might have to uh, revisit my son's college fund at this point, but we're, uh, we're, we're appreciative to have everybody join in. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. You got, uh, what, a thousand a pop. You got four tight end touchdowns already. I mean, either Ron or, or Vrabel or – or whoever is involved in these decisions get the tight ends of all money, maybe. You, you yeah. uh, and, and I guess you're you're more than willing to uh, contribute and and do whatever you can to raise as much money for this cause as possible. I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I I, I kid about the about my son's college fund. I I hope they score a hundred touchdowns. We. Uh, we're excited to be a, a part of it, and I think it's a good initiative and, and uh, certainly something that we're fortunate.
fortunate to be able to be in a place where we can uh, support what's important to my players. And, and, and I want to ask you about going back to Minnesota as well. And, and I mean, can you help the defenders or, or maybe give some tips here and there on Kyle Rudolph, maybe some things that guys should look for after all your time working with him? Well, our, our defensive staff does such a wonderful job of, of thoroughly evaluating opponents. You know, I'm, I'm sure if they have any questions, they'll they'll come down to me. But they're they're a well prepared group. Um, I'm really fortunate to to spend that year that I did there in, in Minnesota coaching the tight ends, and uh, it's a talented room. They've made some additions, and uh, you, you know, I think they're they're a very talented group. But um, you know, the, our our defensive staff uh, will do just fine without without my input. And last from me, I mean, just broadly, uh, you know, tight ends, like you've mentioned, been very involved, you know, from John New to Anthony to Michael. How contagious is it in the room or how much energy, energy does it bring when those guys are getting a lot of looks and a lot of scoring opportunities? And how do you think they're doing? You know, we, uh, we haven't approached things any different than we had all last year. You know, sometimes the ball finds you and, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, their, their goal and, and my mission as their coach is to create an environment where we're always working hard, uh, even at the weakest parts of our game. And, and we have to trust that uh, the process will bring the football our way. You know, you do the little things right in the run game, do the little things right in protection, and then do the little things right in your route stems and releases and all that. And then you got to uh, make the plays you're afforded the opportunity to make. So um, our process hasn't really changed. I wouldn't say the energy levels change. I, I think they're uh, they're enjoying their opportunities uh, and, and hopefully get some more. Uh, Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Todd, I wanted to ask you one more about um, Janu's versatility, you know, because it kind of goes with his explosiveness. We've seen you guys, you know, put him in the backfield, run screens to him and some of those things. With his athleticism, how much more time do you and Art spend trying to be creative finding different ways to use him and get him the football compared to a normal tight end? Yeah, you know, I think that's a natural part of the game plan and process, you know, looking for ways to create matchups or looking for ways to, uh, you know, get the different personnel groupings on the field and, and things like that. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, Johnny's skill set makes it fun to, to think and tinker with different ways that you can line them up in different areas. And then it boils down to, uh, John knew in his preparation and knowing where to be and, and how to execute the jobs that they were having for him. So, uh, again, you know, it, it's all part of our process, all part of the process that Coach Brable and, and uh, Arthur have laid out, you know, in terms of how we go through our checklist in the week. But uh, John certainly makes it a, a lot of fun to be creative.